<sighs> Alright, enough bitching about me. Let's get this started. Ah, uh, where were we? Oh, that's right! We were in the uh, Resident Evil dungeon. I, my throat feels a little sore, but not like raw sore. I, I don't know. It just feels like a little bit something, and then like, I feel like I, my chest hurts a little, but I don't know. I, I, I just don't know. I'm, I, I don't, I don't think I'm running a fever. I've checked. My oxygen is good. I checked that. I actually have one of those little finger oxygen things. I'm fine on oxygen. I, I just don't know. Cabby! Where are you going? It's, oh yeah, we gotta go upstairs. Oh my god, I just... I just... And you know, I should have figured it. I should have figured this was gonna happen with her. Because this is the aunt that's like, I'm not worried about COVID. I'm just gonna go everywhere in the entire world and not give a shit. And then... I, I, I should have known it was gonna, it was gonna happen. Alright. Alright. The only good thing is I do have my booster, so if, even if I do get it, I should it should just be pretty mild. I'm just more worried about giving it to people. Alright. Secret weapons. Oh my gosh. What the hell? some help here. These guys have no, don't do that. Oh, good. All right, let's see. It's this. Nope. We're just going to attack. So yeah, you didn't really miss that much last week, Gabby. Yeah, I, I just went a little further. We found the kids. We found the kids. And that was it. That was that was pretty much it. And I realized this was a full dungeon and I didn't want to spend another hour in there. Besides, I had to go get Chewie his medicine. But Chewie is actually sleeping in his bed on my desk today. He is. He's being more, uh, he's being more or less his normal self. Except he's crying more. There is a thick diary atop the large desk. Apparently, it belongs to the person who used this room. Read the diary. Yes. 4th, 4th of February, 1913? What? No, 1813? What year is this? It's been two weeks since I was moved into this room all by myself. Every night the doctor comes to talk about his dead mother. He sounds just like a little child. He always welcome becomes so emotional. He starts to cry. He even gets up and screams all of a sudden. At first I was scared, but I got used to it. If I just listen, I get to have warm soup and bread. Every night, I listen to the sobs of the new kids here. But then again, I'm usually crying, too. I hope I can find new parents soon and get out of this place. Isn't God listening to my prayers? Will you continue to read the di diary? Okay, we're gonna keep reading. Okay. Oh, February 13, 21. I like how the date format changed. The doctor seemed so excited. He smiled and started talking as soon as he saw me. He was happy because his experiment went well, and some book was going to make his dreams a reality. Sometimes I shiver when I hear about his research. It sounds like the story of Frankenstein to me. I can't hear the crying of the children tonight, even though it's definitely time for it. Of course we're going to keep reading. 
Oh, the, the day format changed again. 22 February. I don't even know anymore. I had a great dinner tonight. I've never eaten so much delicious food at once. The teacher was all smiles, too. It seems that it's going to be my turn to help his experiment tomorrow. This is the last entry in the diary. Oh, boy. Wait, 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 wait. That was the last entry in the diary? Oh, God. There's a pile of books on the table. Will you take a look? Or take a book. Yes, let's... Let's see. Oh, no. No! Why do I have... Why is there a game? One of these stupid games to pick up this book. Is picking up a book that hard? Oh, my God. I'm not going to be able to do this. I got to pick up this book. Holy shit, it's fast. Okay. Oh, my God. Picking up book is really that hard. Oh, I finally got it. An old picture was in the book. It shows a woman holding a baby. The following is written on it. 5th of March, 1975. No, 1875. With my dearest Jack, one year old, Mary. What month is March? What? Bob, what? What month is March? It's full of picture books for children. A vulgar looking man is reflected in the mirror. Oh my god! Oh, he just called himself vulgar looking. Oh my god. This is great. This is great. No, I uh, don't. I, wanna, I don't want to look at it. You've received a lottery ticket. No, stop. Don't do it. There are some dents in the old mattress. Dents? Okay. A sturdy dial type box is installed on the door. Uh, will you enter? Oh, the passcode. Please? And thousands, thousands. What? <laughs> Please input the thousands digit. Wait. So this is a year. So we're gonna go one. Please enter the hundreds digit. Digit. Eighteen. Twenty-four. Was it? Oh man. All right. I gotta go look at that. Uh, I gotta go. wait. I think I gotta go look at the book on the table again. Was that dated? Was there a date on that and with the picture? Eighteen seventy-five? Okay. over. Alright, so. Ooh, nice and a cool. I can poison a zombie? That's even possible? Oh god, I thought he was dead. He only Well, clearly my uh my lungs are okay because I feel like I'm yelling a lot. <laughs> it's not too hard to yell. I might make myself a tea though, just because like I said my throat feels like not great. 
I like I said, it's, it doesn't feel raw. It just feels like something going on with it. But it was really cool in our bedroom last night because we had uh, our bathtub reglazed and we had the window open to air it out. And maybe some of the fumes caught. I don't know. I don't know, you guys. When is my fucking COVID test coming? <laughs> That's what I need to know. <laughs> That's what I need to fucking know. I, he's fine. Yeah, I can use some help. He's here. used to this. Oh, don't yell at him? I'm not yelling at him. Chewie will be fine. Alright, so... All right, you said 9 1875. Like, let's try that. 18 No, not that. Damn it, can I go back? Uh, no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Don't get up ahead of myself. <laughs> Five. There we go. That wasn't it. Are we sure it was 1875? Alright. Oh. March. Oh. March. I guess 75. What month is March? That's gotta be a clue of some point. Of some. What month is March? So. Oh. Why does he say what month is March? Oh no. Three. Five, three, seventy-five. Yeah, that that might be it. Okay. That's why he says what month is March. Okay. Alright, so you're right. Five. But see, this is very confusing because they say the thousand, thousands and hundreds. So it seems like it's a year, but it's not. Ugh. Five. This is horror. This is very, very... This puzzle's kind of, kind of shit. That was it. That was it. Electric signal and physical structure. Constituent elements of soul. Rules of restoration. It's full of hard to understand content drawings and symbols. Uh, difficult looking books are scattered atop the desk. They're all related to the occult. Books on black magic from the world over line the shelves. We received monk earrings. Ooh, I like the sound of that. There are small items scattered atop the desk, and its drawer is locked. Oh, for fuck's sake. Ooh, got a first try. You found a heavy file inside the drawer of the desk. It looks like the Master's Diary. Will you read the Master's Diary? I'll read it. April 18th, 09. We finally finished the move. My mother seems to like the mansion, too. I was worried when I first came, but I don't believe the ghost of the old owner will return here. Tomorrow is my first day as a doctor. It will be difficult, but my mother and I will make it. May 27th, 09. Of 1809? No. 2009. No! 1909! For fuck's sake. It's been a month since I started working as a doctor. So far, so good. But the change in climates has given mother a chill. She is always tired and I'm worried. October 11th, 1909. What is going on? I have no idea what is making my mother so ill. Each day her illness worsens. It's unbearable watching her appearance change so rapidly. She used to be a so beautiful, but now her body is changing, drying out as if she were becoming a mummy. 
Please give me the power to help, Mother. I would do anything to return the smile to her lips. November 2nd, 20 1909. It rained hard all night, uh, all night long. My mother passed away before dawn. The mummy in front of me will not move again. I tried to halt her illness, but in the end I failed. My mother screamed like a beast, went into convulsions, and died with an agonized look on her face. She never failed to grace me with her smile, and was rewarded for it by God with a tortuous end. Tell me, God, why did my mother deserve this? We honored you, prayed to you as we were taught. Why have you forsaken us? It's something I simply cannot fathom. January 8th, 1910. As I suspected previously, my mother was killed by some kind of curse. The more I study the black arts, arts the more I am certain. If I can but unpuzzle their arcane logic, perhaps I can solve the enigma of my mother's death. Why am I doing this? Even if I uncover what caused the strange disease, I cannot bring the dead back to life. Oh boy, we know where this is going. February 13th, 1910. I ran into someone in town today. His name was Roger Bacon. He told me my mother's disease lies in the secret arts practiced by the ancient druid monks. What an unsettling man. He told me that he knew everything about me, although we had never met before. He has given me an old book text is all in Greek, so it will take some time to decipher it. February 30th, 1910. What have I done? Have I, become fa have I come face to face with God? A week has passed since I last, last I slept, yet my excitement and curiosity build all the more. Decoding the emigre... Oh, this name sounds familiar, this word. Decoding the emigre document shouldn't take much longer then a whole new world will open to me march 10th no march 2nd 1910 it was already dark outside when i finally awoke my relief at finishing decoding the document must have lulled me into a deep sleep but i shan't hesitate anymore i have discovered the path that i must take i can bring the dead to life with the emigre document i can see my mother's smile once again i'm going to be quite quite a busy man bacon again so so number one this guy is daddy or uh, mommy issues he has mommy issues i really suspect number two isn't the emigre document what they were going what o'flaherty james was going after in the nebuton monastery in kudelka wasn't that the big thing that the that the vatican had lost and they needed to get back i'm pretty sure it was all right it's a painting of a beautiful woman. There's a sign that says Mary, July 3rd. I'm gonna guess 1854. So three, seven, five, four. July, when's that? Bob, you're dumb. <laughs> the pedigree document. Shit, wrong one. What did I just- ah, oh, fuck. What date did I just say? What, would, what did I just say for the code, you guys? I forgot already. Ugh. ring Yeah, I can use some help here. Okay. Probably she could use a tent.
No, don't put that on the screen. Get that off the screen. There. All right, you guys weren't. <laughs> I gotta go back up and look at that, and then I'm gonna get into another fight, aren't I? All right, it's three, three, seven, five, four. Let's not forget that. Three, seven, five, four. All right. Yes, it is. Three, seven. Sound of a lock opening. Let's go save. Oh, God! Let's just go save and use the tent. Alright, these guys are the ones that take me SPs, aren't they? Are we winning? Maybe. We've determined that... That... That they're, um... This guy is after that... That document... I... There are some links to Kadolka that that are popping up. Bob go fucking nuts. <laughs> don't make Bob go nuts. I don't think I ever had Bob run out of, uh, of, uh, stamina. Have I? I don't think I have. It would be. It would be. Alright, uh, we need a, we need a tent. Alright. And then we might as well source. Save. No, get out of here. I hate it when I'm, like, playing on my Switch and they move the buttons all around and then I'm used to the new, the way the buttons are moved and so I try, and then I just try and play on, like, anything else and my mind is his read map the buttons why can't there just be a universal button placement in everything Come after all. Where is Chris? Chris? Ah, uh, yes, the girl. As an essential resource for my upcoming experiment, she is, of course, being well taken care of. What the hell you want to? Do you really wish to know? All right, then. I'll tell you. I shall become a master of life and death, transplanting the soul of the dead into a living vessel. Never again shall we feel the pain of losing those dear to us. They shall glow with everlasting life. Are you with me? Can you see the beauty of it? The brilliance? So dramatic. 
Let us proceed to the final adjustments. Chris, it's finally your turn. <laughs> Chris! Ow, that actually hurt my voice a little bit. Look upon this great spiritual vessel, a holy womb for the soup of life. Even as we speak, a life has nearly blossomed within it. Chris, use your life to reawaken my dear mother. Go walk right in there. Stop! <laughs> That's hardly enough to break my hypnotism. Awaken, dear mother. Stop! Oh, fuck! Oh, gee, I thought you got fallen. Dennis, no! Calm down! You'll destroy everything! Dennis! Dennis! Calm down! Don't give it to your anger! Wait! I don't do the voice. I don't do this voice. Mom? What? What the fuck is going on? Mom? Mom? Ouch, ouch, ouch! I haven't felt this pain in a long time. Mother. Mother! She was almost resurrected! Mother! 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 Damn you! It might be. <gasps> no! No! That's. Fuck! You guys! You guys! If that voice is Kadelka, guess what? Dennis is. is her. And. 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 What's his name? Fucking Plunkett. It's their kid! Yes! Fucking Dennis is their kid! That that confirms it, BB10. That confirms confirms that they banged. Can't it you can't deny it now. <laughs> I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Alright, so what are we doing here? Oh, we're gonna get proof soon enough. Well, you didn't see anything, so it's 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 more or less basically implied. So I'll give that one to BB10. Let's see, Aqua Blade inflicts water damage plus poison. Maybe we can do that. All right. Drop something hard on Target's head. Well, we didn't even see him kiss or anything. Yeah, I can use some help here. <laughs> so dumb. Uh oh. <laughs> <gasps> no! What? Fucker! All right, we gotta fusion this up. Heaven's fiend. All right. Uh. 
try this. All right, so now I gotta do... Ooh, perfect! Nice. All right, now I'm gonna have to heal myself. Sake. Well, at least I have ten of those. <gasps> All right. Well, I'm just gonna attack. Why couldn't I bring a uh, what the fuck is his name? <laughs> Keithlet. Edward Plunkett isn't a real historical figure. Now I'm gonna have to go look that up. Alright. Uh, I don't think this is gonna petrify that guy. I'll just do this myself. No, this is totally his kid. Now I feel actually a little bit better about naming him Dennis. I do. I feel a little better about it. That was actually kind of a good one. <laughs> Honestly, kind of good. I'll give you that one. Fuck's sake with this paralysis shit. I don't know if I'm gonna have enough of these things. about their freaking uh, stamina. Alright. Honestly, 
him being Kudelka's and Ed Edward's. What? Fuck you. Anyways, um, kid, actually, make his rage issues now make sense. They make sense. The kid's got rage issues. All right. Uh, we're just gonna do. Yes. Why do you want keep denying the truth, BB10? <laughs> Stop denying the truth. <laughs> Guy's about dead. Okay, he's not about dead. <laughs> Not about that. All right, they didn't have that many kids. It was just a one one night stand. I feel like me being hopped up on Dayquil might be making my timing skills better. Stop it! Stop it! <laughs> I don't think he's that viral. The virile, virile. That's it. Um. Anyways, what am I supposed to? Do? Oh yeah, I better get an item on here. I was gonna use. I I think he's gonna be dead here soon. <laughs> You're frustrating, BB Ted. He's pulling out the uh the the kitty emotes. All right. Oh, thank goodness. Talk about an Oedipus complex. I'm glad you see it too, Bob. I'm glad. Mother! It's not even complete! Why? What the heck is that? Shit! That wasn't even the real fight! Crap, we gotta kill his mom! Everybody healed up. I don't think so. Because he was kind of a mini boss. <sighs> shit, what do I do? Scout, snipe, painkiller. Oh shit, I actually have a painkiller. Yeah, because I like him as my heal bot. Um, let's scout this out. Let's see what she's, uh... Exactly! Yeah, I can use some help here. AoE heal is OP. Let's see. Mammon. Earth. What's... What's, um, is Earth weak against? Water? Shit. No, it's not! Look, now I can do an AoE heal! <laughs> Let's see, no. ESP. Oh, yeah. Air? Earth damage. Let's try that. Let's try that. Look, 
if these fuckers would stop doing AoE damage to me, I wouldn't have to AoE heal. Alright. <sighs> Alright, we're just gonna attack. Oh, damn! Earth, you said Earth is weak to wind. It's Earth, right? Okay, that one makes sense. So I gotta get everybody, um... Yeah, I know, right? Uh... We're gonna heal everybody up. Let's see. Uh, 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 drop snow. Uh, pink color. No. We're just gonna just attack. Oh, also petrify. Fuck. No, petrify is different. Fuck. Alright. I gotta air edge her. I'm gonna air edge everybody. Yeah. What? I can't do it well. It. All right, all right. All right, let's say I have ten of those. Guess you can't do it when they're petrified. He's gonna petrify somebody else or she. All right. Listen, you just you don't know these things until you try. Okay, well, at least Marge can take care of that. Alright, secret weapons. Painkiller. Yeah, I can use some help here. <laughs> Alright, so let's give her that. Uh oh. Is this where he petrifies everybody? No. Special attack. Alright. See? Bringing everybody to full health, that's why I use them in this form all the time. It's why I use them. That is way overpowered. And too useful. Because I don't waste turns trying to get everybody individually healed up. Okay. Right, 
we're just gonna attack you. I will. Fine, I'll win Bob. Well, mostly because he's my heal bot, but I'll win him. Right? True. Seriously. But I don't even think I could have bring her on this one. Yeah, like seriously, if if Doris had an AoE heal, I wouldn't have to use this all the fucking time. Oh, well, I'd rather have the spy. I know it does. Uh oh. Uh oh. Marge needs some stamina. Ha <laughs> ha 
<laughs> and I was petrified, yeah. I feel like this game really could have had much more depth than it does. I don't know. Needle rain. Shit. Well. Nope, he's doing it again. At least there's only 360 this time. Uh, stamina shit. At this rate, Bob is actually going to need to take something for stamina. <laughs> and that is really, really going to... That is really, really going to hit his ego. I'm just saying. Oh, thank goodness. Ooh, learn the air shot. Mother. Bobby. God, why am I having flashbacks to typing? <laughs> typing of the dead overkill. So sorry, mommy. This is the new life? <laughs> Give me a break. To begin with, it's great to see that everybody got back alive. It's a true relief. But can it be true? Can the person behind that voice really be Dennis's mother? Holy moly! When Dennis's anger got the best of him, he nearly lost it. That voice came and calmed you, keeping you from going berserk. Hey, was that really your mother? Yeah, I'm positive. Voices troubled me for years. I hear it in my head telling me to do this and that. But of course, it saved me dozens of times as well. Dennis, you said that your mother abandoned you, right? Perhaps your mother wants to tell us something. Maybe that's why she's sending her voice to us. Do you all think I'm a monster? monster. What you looking at me for? Nobody here thinks you're a monster. You just have different abilities from most people. My mom used to say that we were both human, but those guys didn't think so. I like how Keith is like a sixth wheel. My mother told me that too. Oh no. Oh. That she and I are people like anyone else. 
That doesn't look like a Delta. It's just that when we were born, God gave us some powers that are a little different. But that's not the way those guys saw it. The Friar Knights of the Inquisition decided from the start that my mother was a witch. And they locked her up in a mental hospital. What? You mean they didn't burn her at the stake? All my mother did was to use her special powers to help people who were possessed by ghosts. Or to cure people who were hurt. She didn't fight back at all. That doesn't sound like Gandalka. Because Kandalka. they threatened to kill me if she did. Oh, okay. They weren't my mother's enemies at all. It was all because of me. All because of me. <laughs> this voice actor is worse than me. <laughs> Calm down, Dennis. It's really amazing, really an amazing power. And it's the same power your mother had. I'm sorry, I can't control my power very well. So your mother was taken away by the Friar Knights of the Inquisition. Yes. Inquisition? Is that, is this, in this day and age? How could there still be such a thing? Hey, what's an inquisition? The inquisition was a religious tribunal formed to stamp out heresy in the 11th century Europe. They burned witches and warlocks in God's name, but many innocents were slaughtered as well. Many were killed for political pur purposes as well. They were beaten, tortured, and burned alive. It was terrible, started by people who, who derived their authority from their religion. Those guys took your mother away? Dennis, I promise you I'll save your mother. Bob, thou hast not won even once. What? What is this? Thou hast not. Stop, stop channeling Arian J, okay? If I can hear her voice, she must still be alive. You must want to talk to her in person, right? Do you know where your mother is now? I know where the mental hospital is. The security is tight, though. I've already tried breaking in. We don't know where Cardinal Simon is right now. It seems like we know where we have to go next. Alright, then. Let's start getting ready right away. That was the <laughs> Seriously, like, Keith, why are you here? Oh, I meant to tell you, the rescued children are all in the basement. Very well. I'll go with you. Well, I haven't even asked yet. Get rid of this guy. Aw, oh, shit, I can only get rid of... Oh, we're getting rid of Doris. Go! Oh! What levels are everybody? 26, 26, 25, 32. Ah, shit. They're under-leveled. I'm not drunk. I only had a little bit of Dayquil. A little bit of Dayquil. I mean, I know it's got a little bit of alcohols in it. But not as much as NyQuil. That's got way more alcohols. And I'll be drinking that tonight. Okay. <laughs> Stop it! He the, Dwayne? No, not Dwayne. Dayquil. Do you know what Dayquil is? It's basically, uh, I guess it's kind of a cough medicine, but not. It's like when you have the flu. It's got like yes, acetaminophen in it. It's like Tylenol with all this other stuff to help you feel better. Plus booze. Plus alcohol. Oh well, it's not my choice, but I'll hold you down for. I'll hold down the fort here if you need me. Come get me anytime. 
Uh, no. I don't think so. Let's get out of here. Yes, it does have alcohols in it, okay? But it's only to make you feel better. that drunk okay seriously it's it's <laughs> it's, the, it's just part of the formula okay well but, like i said there's more of it in nightquil because it basically knocks you out hey faraday I'm really grateful to you for rescuing us i don't remember a thing about that what happened but i'm so glad to be back at this house Hey, the kidnappers won't come anymore, right? Yes! These kids are boring. I keep having a strange sensation in my head. I dreamed about a mouse this morning, and a real mouse appeared right before my eyes. It's a strange power. Joshua doesn't believe me, though. Ooh, I received demon earrings. What the fuck are the kids doing with demon earrings? Speaking of which, let's see. Oh, oh yeah. There we go. All right. So where they said the kids are in the basement. What was I supposed to do down here? <laughs> you guys. Okay, I'm lazy, alright? I'm lazy. I won't fucking deal with it. <laughs> There's a ladder. I want to go to that ladder. <laughs> oh god, this music again. So, like, what am I supposed to do? I say, Dennis, will you, where, where will you be going next? What? You say it's a secret. <laughs> hey, the kids are all back. It's great to see you all looking good. But stay out of mischief now, you hear? I think we need to take, I think we need to take Dennis to the bar. You gotta take Dennis to the bar. Aha! So everybody's back safe and sound. Happy day. Let's all celebrate with a drink. Okay, Wrinkle Jim. I know while well, Dennis is away, why don't we have Chris keep shop? But Dennis isn't away. What's that? You say Jack was actually experimenting with black magic on humans? Yeah, right. I know he was an oddball, but you can't put a story like that over on me. <laughs> Stop! No, no, no. We gotta buy some stuff. Let's see. The Ever Bible. Oracle Staff. Oh, I actually have some of these in my inventories. Alright, we don't need that. We don't need that. Huh. Oh, man. I need, like, four of those headgears. Circlets. Loin guard? I definitely need some loin guards. Only the guys can have loin guards, though. <laughs> gotta make sure we gotta make sure we protect them for the future babies. There's a note. Maybe. 
<laughs> no, stop it. All right, so I think we need some headgears. We need Warlies. It. All right, what is this? Jasper. I have one in my inventory. Red leather jacket. I have three in my inventory. Oracles. All right, we're good. Well, I have four. Where am I supposed? To, what am I supposed to do now? Am I supposed to get out of town? I have to. I have to get the frick out of Dodge. Huh? Whoa! The only thing to soothe the human heart is liquor. Liquor and, uh... It's a lottery. <laughs> Hold on, my ear is going bad again. <clears throat> oh! This might be part of the, uh... This might be part of, of whatever the fuck I have going on with my body right now. Actually, let me look real quick on, uh... See if I got any emails with my results yet. Even though they say it could take up to 78 hours or 76 hours or something. No. No. So, like, you go for your test, right? And it could take three days for you to get your results. It's like, what do you do? Do you just stop doing stuff? Do you stop going to work for three days? And what if you don't have COVID? Then you just wasted three days. But, yeah, 72 hours. Whatever. But... What if you, like, let's say you don't get the test, so you don't think you have COVID, and then you go out, and then into the world, and then you spread it, and then you find out 72 hours that you do have COVID, and then you've been spreading it around for three days. I, I don't know what to do. And I got a ton of shit to do at work tomorrow. Oh my god. Yeah, well, I don't know. Problem is, I mean, I, I, what if I wasn't even feeling bad? It's like, this is just, this, this, I don't know. Well, it might not make a difference tomorrow because we have the snowmageddon coming. <laughs> we have the snowmageddon coming. So I I might not even be able to get to the train station tomorrow. So maybe I'll be, I can move my work day. And then if I do come back with a positive tomorrow, then I can be like, yeah, I got to have the rest of the week off. I don't have any rapid tests. The rapid tests don't work. My, my aunt took two rapid tests. And she's like, oh, it came back and paid negative, negative, negative. But she has all the fucking COVID systems, including not being able to taste. <sighs> oh, God, that hurts. Okay, sorry. I just I just had to go. I'm just very, very, very frustrated. I'm frustrated because she's the type of person that goes out into the world, doesn't get her shots, doesn't do any of that, doesn't even really try to avoid getting it. And then she's like, I'm not worried. And then she fucking gets it. Oh. All right, that's better. Oh god. Sorry. Oh my god. All right. Help me in. I need these three stairings. And I'm going to get fucking tissues. Damn it. Can't avoid having hard luck sometimes, bro. <laughs> Want to drink with me? No, it's not cocaine. It was just this Manuka honey. It's saline solution with Manuka honey, but it hurts. All right, all right. Let's see if it'll let me go into any other places. Nope. Can I go to the orphanage? No, I don't want to go back here. I can eat broccoli. And broccoli is fantastic, especially when you smother it in stuff so it doesn't take taste like broccoli anymore. Okay. I guess we're just gonna have to go back upstairs. Alright, 
So now what? All of the Friar Knights of the Inquisition are powerful sorcerers. Be careful. No, I don't want to take you. It's dangerous. Stay here. You know what? Fuck you, Bob. So it was Bacon who gave the magic book to Jack. Perhaps the Cardinal is still alive. Huh? Did you miss me? Not especially. <laughs> Not especially. Where the fuck am I supposed to go? So, it means, you know what? Bigger risk, bigger reward. Talk to these kids. Talk to the brats. Right. Uh, yeah. Oh, the mental hospital. <laughs> no, it was not about the cocaine. It was about the stupid lottery. Alright, where is the uh, mental hospital? Uh... How am I supposed to find the mental hospital? Okay, I've got it. Oh, Dennis is out. I'll watch over the kids. You should just relax and go. You know what, Carl? You got issues. Ooh, I received received a sale of force. Steal more shit from Carl's house. There's a suspicious looking telephone. It's not yet hooked up. So is this mental hospital in London? Nothing. Go back to the hotel. Don't worry about Joshua. I'll teach him to read and write and turn him into a fine hotel keeper. It'll be 300 cash. Would you like to stay? No, not right now. I gotta go find people. Why can't I go in here? Why is there an invisible wall? guys. Baffle in the hospital. Were you able to see Jack? Huh? You again, eh? Fuck you, penniless mite. Alright, the orphanage. Uh, let's just my buttons. Back to Britain, man. Aha! Kalios Mental Hospital. Let's go there. Oh, this place doesn't look like a mental hospital. Okay, what's your business here? The Kalios Mental Hospital doesn't allow visitors. Get lost. What should we do? Get out of our way. No. What the heck is this specter? No, you can't confuse. No, you can't confuse Keith. Stop. Oh yeah, he's still OP. Oh 
Oh shit, no I didn't. Time to go back. Gotta go back to London. Fuck. Like that fucking tickled. Uh, I, th I think I'm gonna have to get like shit for the ailments, like to wear the or the um, confusion. I don't know. All right, let's go back. We gotta get out of here. Oh, this mental hospital. More like a fortress. It's true. My patients have ever made it out of here alive. Well, that doesn't sound like fun. I'll be careful not to go nuts and wind up here. So Lord Bacon is here, eh? Something the matter, Visca uh, it's Viscount, right? You don't- it's not Viscount, it's Viscount. So something the matter about Count Rosan. I've just received word from the gate. Just as predicted, the bandits have arrived. So, they have now made it this far. I presume they have come for the woman. Of course. But they'll be surprised to have the tables turned. A vulgar lot playing right into our hands. How lovely. Good man. Your reputation as the last true leader of the Temple Knights is well deserved. Your powers may be on the wane, but surely you have no right plans to retire, eh, Friar Knight Rousan? Is that sarcasm? Do not misunderstand me, Lord Bacon. I'd not have joined with you were it not for that girl. She may, the la she may be the last witch of this age. I'm interested in the power she carries. She may be a heretic, but her power seems to be God-given. Now, it wouldn't be much fun if I let such a precious girl go under someone else's control, would it? I understand. Anyway, I'll count you count on you to finish them off. But one of them. Please keep in mind, however, that the Elliot girl must be taken alive. <laughs> yes, of course. Well then. Hmm. He makes him heart sick. Night. <laughs> Don't let him get to you. I'm sure he will do fine work for us as a pawn. I sure hope so. So, Lord Bacon, what do we do now? We wait. The moment of truth is at hand. I'm just so excited. How will the great gamble end? Will it be white or black, the mother's heart residing in her breast, or the stoic witch mask? Which will be the victor? That is what we are about to see. Well, shit. <laughs> we gotta go back and, uh, where were you buying shit from? Where was the peddler? Where was the peddler? Ah, uh, he was in the bar. Yeah. Alright, let's go stock up. Stock up on shits. What? Why are you giving them- Oh. That was for Debrel. Okay, I was like, why are you giving me that angry look? I didn't say anything. I just said we gotta stop up, stock up on shits. Alright, let's see. We need... Alright, what do we get? We got 14, 10 of those, 10. Buy one of those. 
here seeds probably by like nah we don't want that one we're gonna do this one Just get a couple of those. Uh, purity. There's all status after. Ooh, soul, be soul benediction. Let's get eight of those. Let's, let's, let's go for the trifecta. Let's go. We're gonna try it. Yes! 30% off. Got it. Alright, let's see. Don't care, don't care. Don't care. Oh, we need some of these. Alright. Oh, I probably should get, um, what was it they were doing to me? Confusion. Do I have anything? Uh, let's see. I definitely, yeah. Change. Makes SP decrease two points. <gasps> really? Small jug. What? Why? Why would I want SP to decrease two points every turn? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, no wonder! <laughs> no wonder he was running out! <laughs> Alright, um... Ooh, I need some, uh, cosmic bracelets. Renders poison, silence, and confusion. Ineffectual. Renders. Ooh! Renders status abnormalities ineffectual. It's gonna get the crucifix. Alright. Extra point gained up to 20%, but SP gain down 20%. What? Physical damage given and received up. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> he needs a Lloyd guard. Attack raises attack by increasing Oh my god! Raises attack by increasing masculine spirit! Seriously? That is the note for the Lloyd guard! <laughs> I bet you Keith's like, ah, it's fine. It's fine, as it's like burning into his chest. <laughs> He's gotta get a Lloyd guard. Okay, um, monk earrings. Alright, that's fine. Experience point gained up to 20%. No, I don't care about that. Uh-oh. Hold on. This is the ant calling. She might be telling me I have code. So, as I was going, I gotta get rid of these monk earrings. <laughs> no, I did not tell her about the sea mother. <laughs> Alright, so I need to get the... Confusion. Do I really want this used on... Hey, did that even work? Did confusion even work on he? Like, I looked like he got confused, but then I was able to use him. I wonder if he's immune. What, what shit does Keith have on him? Physical damage given and received up 20%. But he does give more damage. Hmm. We need a Lloyd guard on him. Face guard raises. Who the fuck is this? Alright, hold on, I gotta grab this. Alright, that was nothing. You know when you answer the phone, and I don't know if you guys know this or not, but when you answer the phone and there's like a five second silence before somebody says anything, that means it's a fucking robo telecaller or whatever and they're gonna try and sell you something. Probably try and sell you a fucking warranty on your car that you don't need. Alright, anyways. Weather cap. Where was my good cap? No, it wasn't you. Let's put this on him. Oh, no, I don't, I don't want the face guard. Raises defense power by making target fearless. Alright, we're gonna, um... 
probably should do the petrification thing. Alright, whatever. Alright, sorry about that. No, seriously, I, I, I would have ignored her call, but I, like, I had to find out if she got her result back. And, uh, but she didn't, so I guess it doesn't matter. A laurel slingshot? Well, that seems like something that uh, this little shit could use. Holy, holy silver sword with what? No. Made from laurel, laurel wood and imbued with spirit power. That's what I do. there. We will not allow you to pass through here. Say your prayers, heretic monsters. Yeah, but you guys are the ones who are fucking, like, ghosts and shit. Yeah, really. What is this? Uh. Oh no. Why is <laughs> did she just shoot me? Is it a she or a oh my god? I got a few of this up. Oh, shit. I was wrong. Damn it! He's gonna fuck us up! Damn it. Max of question. Well, that works. What the fuck is Max of question? There is a keyhole with a heart design on it. The heavy, cold door is tightly shut. It doesn't seem as though anyone is in the room. Uh, why a heart? Oh man, fine, I'll go back. Wait, I have to go into my graveyard. Holy shit. All right, I gotta, I gotta go, <laughs> I gotta go back to the graveyard. I probably am. Uh, I can, yeah. I'll just... Uh, where is? Oh no, it's in the hotel. Let's see. Can. can I enter it here? 
No, it says you can only do it from a save point. beat up a bunch of this shit. In the seal of the grave, a soul glows with an airy light as if the soul of a new creature was born. Yeah, I want to fight it. I know, I know! I know, I know. Alright. Time to beat up a bunch of monsters. Is a verb. Taking a lot more damage. I don't know. I don't want to waste all my mana. Oh my god. I probably should just fuse though. Three beaks? You can see three beaks. Oh, it does. I didn't even realize that. Pretty much. I feel like this is a lot of work. This is a lot of work. I know I'm a lot of work. Uh. Oh, do you see that? This is the most perfect I've gotten in a single in a single stream. And it like doesn't do anything. I don't even know if I'm gonna use this freaking thing. Not dying. Oh, now it's dead. <sighs> the soul of Icarus. A desire to run away roils within you. You received Soul of Icarus. Hmm. Fairy Leaf. Fairy Seed. I was doing one of those. I gotta fight this thing. From the seal of the grave, a soul glows with an eerie light as if the soul of a new creature was born. Let's do it. Let's go. Ooh. This actually looks a lot better than the other one. Let's see. We're gonna death them for this up. I feel like it. 
Okay, let's see. Dead messenger. looks a lot better than the other form I have that looks like some tarp some type of larva if it, it does A guile haircut? Kind of. They're not legs, they're nobules or something. They're stubs. Oh shit. They're, they're stubs. Don't miss. Bob. He was blowing like black shit at him. No. So, I'm I'm gonna put it out there right now. I don't think Bob fucks. I don't think he does. Mostly because he's really, really cringy and nobody wants to. Not with him. Maybe Doris. But no. Bob ain't getting any. He will? He totally will, but he doesn't. I'm just saying! I'm with you on this one, BB-10. Bob doesn't. <laughs> I'm totally with you on this. You know who does? Edward J. Plunkett. He definitely does. We all know he does. <laughs> Keith does too. <laughs> Look, BB-10, you're not making babies without it. I'm sorry. It's not happening. Alright, this sucks. <sighs> Fucking more dark messenger shit. <laughs> I could see that. No, 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 he doesn't. The moment he saw Marge, he was like, oh, ho, ho, what is this? He definitely does. Oh, he doesn't give a shit about her. He's, she just thinks she's hot. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, don't give me that. Alright, no. No, it's Nana. What the fuck is this shit? Oh, 
he actually missed me. Damn it! <laughs> Butch <-row. laughs> Oh, a freaking time. I gotta go use a tent now. Or I don't even need to use a tent. I get it. I can get just leave and. So what do I have? The feeling of repentance fills your heart. You've received soul of Baldo. Baldo. Okay, I gotta go get some mana and stuff. Go back. Yes. Yeah, three hundred cash. It's kind of expensive, but whatever. And the worst, the worst jingle ever. Uh, let's see. Oh, special skills. Uh, dark. What fusion? How do I? I God, how? How do I change that again? Equipment. What? Graveyard formation status. How the hell do I do it again? Soul. Oh. Let's see. Inferno. Oh! Hey! I have Moxibustion on Inferno! Icarus. Here we go. Icarus. And... What else did I get? Heaven's Fiend Baldo. And what was the other one? Oh, I just got those two. Alright, where's the letter? Honestly, I probably should should call it here, because it is three o'clock, and if I don't call it here, Bob Gabby's probably gonna complain that he's falling asleep. And honestly, I am kind of tired because I probably have COVID, so I should let my voice rest a little bit.